triggered. Triggered, 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 triggered. Triggered is a word that we are hearing a lot in society today. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Real Life with Andrea. My name is Andrea, and if you are new to the channel, this is a on-the-spot channel of my real life. I do no editing. I do no prepping or no scripting. So if you like that, great. If not, this channel probably isn't for you. So being triggered. So a lot of times, um, you know, people, in, and this is with some younger generations mostly, but I find it with myself a little bit as well. When you've been something through something that's really difficult or you have anxiety or you have depression or whatever it is that goes on, you have a set of circumstances usually that has led to that event, to that those feelings. Now, when you then break free or you're doing really well out of those circumstances, you're not feeling anxious and whatever, and somebody else comes along and they trigger you. What does it mean to be triggered? Well, they said something or they did something that reminds you of your circumstances that caused pain, sorrow, anxiety, stress, illness, whatever in your life. And so it brings up within you those feelings. So whose responsibility is it to deal with being triggered? Because what I'm seeing a lot today is, um, and as I'm watching some of these clips with Charlie Kirk, this happens, people will come up to, to him and say, you're, you're triggering me or your presence here is offending me. Your presence here is upsetting me. Well, whose responsibility is it to deal with my emotions, right? Did Charlie Kirk purposely go and upset that person? Did the person who said something that brought up inside of me feelings from my past do something specifically to harm me? Not likely. And so it's my responsibility to deal with my feelings um, that come up. But too often we want to put the responsibility on the other person to not say or not do or to be careful or to, you know, you walk into a situation that you don't know and you say something and you become responsible for this whole slew of emotions that erupt and the blame is on, not on the person having the emotions, but on the person who has triggered that person. So what do you think about that? What do you think, who do you think is responsible for those feelings? Personally, I think that if someone is not coming in and purposely triggering you, and there may be people who do that. I don't know, I don't know anybody who does that, but there might be people who do that on purpose because they think it's fun or they enjoy being mean or whatever it is. But in general, I think when you're having a conversation, especially if it's with a stranger, they don't even know your circumstances. So how can they be responsible for how you feel about what's being said? I think that when we do it that way, that's what leads to a lot of discontent and a lot of inability to have difficult conversations because we're feeling triggered. Um, I've recently been thinking about this with my own life because there are things that have happened to me that and circumstances that were difficult and new people will come into my life and they'll say or do something that makes me feel like I felt when I was in that difficult situation and sometimes it can be hard to separate out and be like oh you are just like the person who did that to me no not necessarily um, and so having to stop and go back and say, okay, I need to own my own feelings. I need to own that emotion. I need to look at it logically and not let the emotional craziness that can happen rule over my decisions and my choices and my how I treat other people. As a Christ follower, I am responsible to treat people kindly um, with respect and with dignity, even really, even if they are purposely treating me unkind, but especially in this situation, I need to step back and I need to assess the situation and I need to act like Christ and um, be loved. 
level-headed. Ask questions. Be logical. And my emotions are there to trigger thoughts. My emotions are good tools, but they aren't what should rule my decision-making process. My emotions can let me know that there's something that I need to watch out for. Um, in certain situations, they can raise the hackles uh, to say, okay, I need to be more cautious. Maybe this is a bad idea. They are tools that God has given us in order to identify um, and raise a question to be able to say, okay, I need to assess this situation a little bit more. But they are not to rule my life. God has given us a brain and the ability to use it and to look at things in a logical perspective. So the next time you're feeling triggered or you hear somebody say they're feeling triggered, how are you going to respond? I have um, children. I have people in my life on a regular basis who will tell me I'm feeling triggered and so you need to back off and um, I don't know how I feel about like how do I back off um, do I try to come at it from a different perspective um, I often try to say okay you're feeling triggered what does that mean and how can we work through that because I think this conversation is one that we need to have and we can't avoid conversations because the other person is feeling triggered we never resolve anything that way and so how do we speak to people who are in that place where they um, want to say okay I'm feeling triggered so this conversation is over I will not engage in this conversation I don't want to talk to you about this done we're not doing it because I'm feeling triggered how can we reopen conversation on topics that need to be addressed now I do think it's important to look at that conversation and say is it something that needs to be addressed is it something that we need to talk about sometimes that answer is yes sometimes it might be no and so I think we do have that responsibility as soon as we discover that there is a um, issue Um, with that other person. I'm sorry, there was a stray dog running across the road that distracted me. Um, but, and, and we need to show respect for that other person and not negate the fact that that's how they're feeling. But we do not have to say that their feelings are valid because in that situation, you're not attacking them. All right, so that's what I was thinking about this morning. I don't know why their most random thoughts come into my mind as I'm driving and I'm listening to music and whatever so but I've been dealing with this idea in my own in my own self this feeling triggered constantly lately I am constantly feeling like I am taking a step back into places that were difficult and unpleasant um, over the last couple of weeks and having to really deal with those emotions for myself and it work to not put them on somebody else and understand that the other person has feelings and emotions too that don't align with mine and how do we work through that um, and so I understand that it's difficult sometimes when we're feeling um, we're feeling helpless or we're feeling upset angry anxious due to um, an old emotion, an old situation, but we do need to be careful that we are owning our own stuff and not placing it on the person who is standing in front of us so that we can maintain relationships. All right, thanks for joining us today. It has been a lovely morning this morning, though it is a little bit overcast. It still feels very pleasant today, and I'm so thankful for that. 
Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, please give it a thumbs down. Comment below on what you think about this situation. How do you feel? If you are a person who is easily triggered or finds themselves being triggered a lot, um, comment below on how you cope with that. Do you cope with that? Or do you let it reign and rule in your life and your relationships? It's a good question. As always, I appreciate your viewing and have a great day. Thank you.